thank you, David, very much for the overview. Um, uh, Within your presentation, you raised also uh, quite many interesting aspects or angles, and it showed also how uh, strategically your uh, your country is approaching this issue. So, uh, first uh, question that I actually have is that uh, starting from what time period uh, was the uh, the strategical focus put on cyber and then on data and then the digital uh, digital uh, technology sector? Uh, where are the roots of the sectors or is it something that has like been growing during the last 10 years or, or is it earlier um, I, I, absolutely it's it's been growing so within the within the cyber sector yes it's been more than 10 years okay um, uh -huh. within within the data sector it's more than 10 years uh -huh. the the space sector obviously being the being the newer part of the equation um, yes that's starting to develop but as a as a country, um, Scotland, the Scottish Government have said that they, they want Scotland to become a, a digital nation. Mm -hmm. So as part of that, they, um, there is a real drive mm -hmm. to, to push out across Scotland the adoption of digital technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Within that, we, we see the, our engagement with academia, mm -hmm. because as, a, as an organisation, we engage with all of the universities across Scotland. Mm -hmm to act as a, as a portal between industry and commerce and academia mm -hmm. to be able to, to coordinate the activities of both. So to be able to make those introductions so that uh, research programs can be undertaken, but also to, to highlight research programs that are, that are currently mm -hmm. being undertaken so that they may have a, an application out within, within commerce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing Whilst we're seeing a development of the data sector yep. and, and we're seeing policy coming to bear upon how that sector is going to develop, mm -hmm. we're also seeing development of the cyber sector mm -hmm. and the rollout, the recognition of the requirement for the rollout of cyber security across our economy. Mm -hmm in order to make the, the economy more resilient mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in doing so be able to, to further develop the digital and the digitally based mm -hmm. sectors which are evolving within Scotland. Mm -hmm. And then we're seeing the, 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 the growth of the space sector. So we're seeing all three of those happening in parallel yep. and they all have an integral relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. So whilst we're seeing policy starting to, for, for space, mm -hmm. we're starting to see policy emerge for, for data, mm -hmm. and we're starting to see policy emerge for, for security, for cyber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The three have to work together. Yeah. All right. And, it, and it's only by the three working together mm -hmm. that we then create a digitally resilient industry. All right. All right. So... so uh, Cy cyber and, and data are becoming horizontals as well as vertical sectors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Well, um, th this approach is definitely very, uh, very interesting, very organic in the sense because you can you can follow the logic and and in uh, in some other examples uh, their logic is uh, a bit different. Um, uh, let me ask, like from this angle, so uh, how would you assess? The urgency of cybersecurity uh, 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 capabilities uh, within this uh, space um, uh, domain currently in in, in Scotland. So, uh, is it is cybersecurity valued as a very urgent topic? Uh, the skills that must be acquired very rap rapidly, or it is uh, still the time that let's see and think. Uh, because uh, because we have time with it. Yes, I think so. I think it's happening on a number of different levels. Mm -hmm. So so I think the the appetite for cyber mm -hmm. is driven by the end application. Mm -hmm. So from from a critical national infrastructure for for any requirement within the mm -hmm. space sector, mm -hmm. for critical national infrastructure, cyber is already embedded within critical national infrastructure as a sector. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's recognised that that is going to become, as space becomes 
part of CNI. Cyber has to evolve and has to be at the at the forefront of everything that's done in relation to that. Mm-hmm. For applications, for space-based applications, which are perhaps less critical, yeah, um, and perhaps originate within sectors which are they have different masters, so they are being driven by investors and driven by the the requirement yeah. to to create cash. Mm-hmm. Um, then I think there is less of an urgency and less of a focus Mm -hmm. on the adoption of cyber. Mm -hmm. Then we come to the infrastructure of Mm -hmm. of space. And within the infrastructure of space, so the services that are are required in order for space to, to, for the space sector to function, Mm -hmm. cyber is becoming, it is becoming certainly much more of a focus uh-huh. Because it's recognised that that the sector has to to be able to cater for all of the customers coming forward, mm-hmm. um, and therefore, in essence, mm-hmm. it has to be because CNI is going to be the, the highest requirement. Then that's helping to pull up the general approach to cyber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there have been uh, lots of. Uh, uh, lo- there has been lots of talk also about the uh, the uh, uh, boom uh, of network communications in space, and that uh, so that, that that the communication network in space will be working out as an internet on Earth. So, uh, is this something that? that uh, in your opinion is really coming up in a really rapid space and this is the reason why the cybersecurity issues uh, in space should be in focus for all of us because uh, the data that uh, will be acquired through the uh, space network or a space internet that will be established is the real um, juicy part uh, of, of the all uh, space communications uh, their future. Yes, so I think that I think one of the concerns uh-huh. is the so the 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 figures that are being that are being quoted insofar as the number of satellites, the number of of communication satellites which are going to be launched over the over the next ten years, uh-huh. is huge. Yep, and and therefore a failure to to prepare. Mm-hmm. And to, to adequately adequately have in place the security provisions that are required, mm-hmm. then potentially creates a huge vulnerability moving forward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And accessibility to to that data is going to be it's critical for the end user. Mm-hmm. But if that data can be accessed from out with the commercial organisations that are managing the data. Mm-hmm. Then there are there are real issues. There are real mm-hmm. issues around that, um, insofar as the 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 impact from from or national states. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so so the risk from nation state engagement um, and capture potential corruption of the data is significant. Mm-hmm. Um, as I mentioned earlier, once the asset is in space, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we're not in a position to go mm-hmm. and retrofit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we need to get this right, mm-hmm. and and that's critical as we see the development of the sector. Mm-hmm. That we ultimately would like to see security by design, mm-hmm. rather than as a retrofit. Obviously, the, it, the evolution of things like um, quantum technologies will bring vastly elevated security position to to space based transmissions mm-hmm. and data transfer. Yeah. But at the moment, that's very much in the um, in the development stage, um, and therefore we've got to look at how we engage with the current cyber skills mm-hmm. and how those can be applied to the current technologies that we're using. So, uh, what we can conclude from from uh, all of that is that the similarities in uh, cybersecurity on Earth and also in space uh, are rather the same because the technologies used uh, are the same. In some occasions in in space, they are 
uh, used a bit in a different way, but uh, the cybersecurity aspect uh, or, or the layer of cybersecurity uh, is definitely a must in the, in the near future also in space uh, domain because uh, there are no other options and the stakes are, are, are so high. Uh, and uh, as, as the uh, but as the space as a, as a domain is so promising um, uh, to lots of new people and, and the, the uh, things how the data from space could be applied um, offers a really many, many opportunities, then um, uh, perhaps you can uh, uh, make here, David, also some kind of suggestion to people who are looking for perhaps business opportunities in space uh, a domain, perhaps not only in cyber, but in relation in, uh, into cyber, uh, to cyber. So perhaps you have some, some kind of suggestions how to start um, familiar, familiarizing yourself with this topic or what, the, in your opinion, are the topics that definitely will uh, be, uh, uh, have a significant role um, uh, during the next three, three years and one uh, could know or should know? I think one of the things to, to bear in mind is that every commercial sector mm -hmm. will soon use space data. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. because of that, mm -hmm. space, space data and the security around and the validity of that data mm -hmm. is going to be critical to the success of all sectors of commerce, mm -hmm. of all elements of life. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see it coming in our transport, we're going to see it in our energy, we're going to see it in our retail, because data is being captured, we're going to see it in our health. Um, all of these sectors are going to rely upon mm -hmm. data which is either captured in space or is transmitted and transported through space, mm -hmm. And therefore, every sector has an interest, a vested interest, mm -hmm. in making sure that the way the space sector develops mm -hmm. is sustainable, mm -hmm. um, that it, it develops in a structured manner, mm -hmm. you know, it, with consistency, mm -hmm. so that we, we can make the most of and exploit all of the, the opportunities that space will bring. Mm -hmm. the, the proliferation of Internet of Things and all of the sensors and products mm -hmm. which are coming forward in our everyday lives mm -hmm. will rely upon the efficiency of the space industry. Mm -hmm. Therefore, across all of the sectors, we have a vested interest in making sure that, that space works, mm -hmm. that it works well, and that it works securely. Yeah, very nice. So, from a <laughs> from a commercial from a commercial suggestion, I don't know which sector, uh -huh. but certainly all sectors are going to have. They are going to benefit mm -hmm. from the the opportunities that will arise through space. Be that from from agriculture to health to uh -huh. transport to energy. Mm -hmm. to retail, um, it's all going to be useful, but we need to make sure that in being useful, we lock the doors to the parties who want to exploit and use space for nefarious activity. Mm -hmm. And that's the primary focus that cyber will mm -hmm. bring to the sector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, and from the cybersecurity pers perspective, we can also look at the uh, uh, data security issue from the uh, confidentiality, uh, integrity, and av availability aspects, which which always must be in the focus um, whenever you want to uh, establish some kind of value with the data um, from uh, for somebody in the digital channels. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yeah. The last okay. thing we want is personal data, critical data, mm -hmm. being accessible to parties who don't want to do good from the output mm -hmm. from that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, David. It has been a pleasure uh, to having this discussion with you for for more than half an hour already. So, um, uh, as we saw, then the space. Uh, cybersecurity on the, and the cybersecurity on Earth uh, are not that um, that different. Uh, the overlaps are there. The commonalities are there. The um, uh, joint part is data, and the value created on top of uh, uh, of that uh, jointly with cybersecurity. Then, so thank you, David, so much uh, for having the uh, the time for us, and uh, looking forward to to the conference. So. Thank you very much for the opportunity to chat with you today. Yeah. It's been my pleasure and I look forward to, to the conference and the and the interesting topics that um, that I'm sure will be discussed then. Yes, Thank you. absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye-bye.